that has niggled me a little bit. And I've seen um, a social media message from Lewis Ritson, where he says that the Newcastle United have contacted his management team to tell him to stop wearing the Newcastle United Football Club logo. A team that he loves, a team that he's been a avid supporter his entire life. And he's been a, been a season ticket holder for the last several years. Okay, now, okay, some of you guys might say, well, why would that niggle you for? You're a southerner, right? Now, I was born here in Newcastle. I live in Newcastle again, but I did spend quite a bit of time away. Here's the reason why I don't have the accent. Okay, but you know what? I've, I see this kind of thing time and time again. You've got this young man, Lewis Ritson, who is currently the British lightweight champion. He owns that thing outright. His fan base is growing by the day. He's super, super popular in Newcastle. Okay, and on October the 13th at the Metro Radio Arena, he's going to be going up against Patera for the European title. This is another step forward to ultimately, who knows, maybe going up against a Vasil Lomachenko or a huge fight for a world title down the line. Okay, because people here in Newcastle, they love their own. Okay, maybe I'm being a bit wrong with that one. It's Northeast in general. Okay, there is rivalry between Newcastle, Sunderland, etc. But ultimately, people just stick together, okay? And this club... Now, see, I remember years ago when uh, Kevin Keegan became manager of Newcastle, had Sir John Hall there, okay? And it was a community club. Everybody felt like they were part of this team, going along for the ride, down with the lows, up with the highs, etc., etc., etc. But ever since Mike Ashley's come along and turned it into a business... Now, listen... I understand that, okay? But ultimately, what he's done with this club... I mean, listen, Newcastle has been relegated because Mike Ashley is making wrong decisions. Well, when I say him, his team, his management team around him are making wrong decisions for the club. The club's been relegated. He's not funding the managers. Rafa Benitez is an exceptional manager, right? He isn't being given the kind of money. But all that kind of aside, okay, I'm not going to get into the whole football thing. But Lewis Ritson is a local hero. He really, really is. His popularity is growing and growing and growing all the time. So why wouldn't Newcastle United want to be along for the ride? They asked Lewis Ritson to remove their logo from his training kits, his merchandise, all this kind of thing. Even though Lewis Ritson makes no financial gain out of any of this. Now, I understand... If it was for financial game to help sell his own merchandise, fair enough. But it's not. And anybody who was to get a Lewis Ritson top or anything like that are not buying it because it's got Newcastle United on the logo or the logo of Newcastle United on the kit. They're buying it because it's Lewis Ritson. Lewis Ritson gives away gear as well. So he's doing it because he loves Newcastle. And if Newcastle's got a real problem with it, I don't understand why. You're getting free advertisement, you complete tits. You're getting free advertisement. And yet you're concerned because he's got a Newcastle United logo on his kit. But yet they're quite happy for him to wear it when he's on TV. In other words, fight night interviews, all that kind of thing. Personally, Lewis, as much as I know that you love Newcastle, just don't wear it at all. Don't wear it at all. Put the sun on No, 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 no. Let's not go that far. Don't put Sunderland on there for the, for, for the love of God. Okay. I still haven't stepped foot in Sunderland. And if I did, if I walked back through to Newcastle, I'd wipe my feet. But anyway, you know, all that aside, Newcastle is no longer a club for the fans. It really isn't. This guy could go on and become a superstar. We don't know yet. It's still early on in his career. And these guys are saying, don't wear it. Because you've got sponsors. We are not sponsoring you. Well, how about sponsoring him why don't you sponsor him what's the issue with that you're getting free advertisement so me wearing my newcastle united football top when i'm walking around town center doing a bit of shopping or being dragged in and out of primark or wherever else that the wife wants to go what is that not advertising is that any different to what lewis ritson is doing of course it isn't it's no different whatsoever newcastle united are no longer a club for the fans they really aren't and what they're doing to lewis ritson is pulling fans away from them. What's wrong if he wants to wear the logo of Newcastle United? What's wrong with that? You don't see Everton telling Tony Bell you, you can't. 
Why? Because they know he is one of them. Lewis Ritson represents Newcastle right now. We have no superstar in the football right now. We, we don't have it. We haven't had that since Alan Shearer retired. Years before then, Malcolm McDonald, Peter Beardsley, Paul Gascoigne, um, Jackie Milburn, Huey Gallagher, you name it. Kevin Keegan, of course. But yet, Lewis Ritson could be a revival of somebody of significance, as in for the fans here in Newcastle. It's not football, it's boxing. Boxing not that big in Newcastle. I get it. But it could be. And wouldn't Newcastle United want to help support a local lad? So, Lewis Ritson is not allowed to have their logo on his kit, unless he's on TV. That is outrageous, absolutely outrageous. Newcastle United, Mike Ashley, you complete plums. What are you doing? That is terrible. He wears the black and white shorts whenever he fights. He doesn't have to, he does it because he loves the club. I don't understand it, I don't, I, I don't get it. As I said, if he was selling it for profit, but even then, it, it wouldn't make any difference. It really wouldn't. It's not like he's buying an official merchandise from Newcastle and making profit on it. He's not. He's putting his own logo that he's buying that is available to everybody to show that he is from Newcastle. He supports Newcastle. And if people are buying these training tops or whatever, they're buying it because it looks written. It's got nothing to do with Newcastle at all. He only puts that on there because it's part of him. It's absolutely disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. And I know that a lot of people listening to this may not care too much because obviously you're not from Newcastle, but just imagine your, your local lad from whatever area it may be. Maybe you're from London, um, North London, so Arsenal, Tottenham, etc. You're down south at um, Portsmouth or Southampton or wherever it may be, in Manchester, in Liverpool, and your club, a guy, for example, whoever, say, an Anthony Joshua, he supports Watford. And Watford say, no, 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 you can't wear our logo. Surely your local team would want to support you. If they don't do it financially, at least let them wear your damn logo because it makes them feel good. Anyway, absolutely disgusting. Newcastle United. Terrible, 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 terrible. You see, I moved back to Newcastle. One of my motivations, not just because I'm a sick boy, because I'm here in Newcastle, the Life Centre, is the hub for the Duchenne for, for my son, which is a great move for the best care for my son. But I moved here as well to go watch Newcastle. But I don't feel like I want to. I really don't. I was really excited about moving here and uh, some of the things that, that I've been seeing going on with the lack of finances of helping out the manager and just making the fans feel unwelcome. I was, I was like, you know what? I've been back in Newcastle for a couple of years now and I've seen Newcastle three times. That's it, because I can't be bothered with them. I can't be bothered. And this is just another reason why I can't be bothered. I don't understand why a local lad can't wear the emblem of his home city for the team that he supports. Not just Newcastle, wherever it may be. Maybe Josh Kelly wants to wear the Sunderland one. I don't know why he would want to do that, but he may, he might, right? Joe Laws, he may want to wear one for Newcastle because they support the team. Up here in, in the Northeast, football is massive, absolutely massive. I can walk out the front of my house, within two minutes I will see somebody wearing a Newcastle hat or a shirt of some kind with Newcastle on it. Me, myself, I do. Even though I don't go to the games too much anymore. Because this is a city for football. Why should they want to push away a fan? Because that's what he is, first and foremost. He's a fan of Newcastle. Absolutely disgusting. It really is absolutely disgusting what these guys or these management team, I'm not even sure if it's Mike Ashley. Maybe Mike Ashley knows nothing about it. But the people within the club are telling Lewis Ritson, his management team, to remove the logo. Terrible. How about supporting him? How about funding him? How about a little bit of sponsorship towards him? If not, you're getting free advertisement anyway. What's the problem? What's the absolute... I mean, you sell your kit, 
your, your, your replica football tops so people can walk around as advertisement, right? So he's doing it for free. He's not asking you for money. He never did. So what's the problem? Anyway, that's it. Drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.